It's the middle of the night and the sky is glowing like mad radioactive red. And if you squint, you can maybe see the moon through a thick layer of cigarette smoke and airplane exhaust that covers the whole city like a mosquito net that won't let the angels in. And if you look up high enough, you could see me standing on the edge of an 87-story building. And up there, a place for gargoyles and broken clock towers that have stayed still and dead for maybe like a hundred years. Up there is me. And I'm freaking back now. And I got Batmobiles and Batarangs and freaking bat caves like for real. And all it takes is a broom closet or a back room or a fire escape. And Danny's hand-me-down jeans are gone. And my navy blue polo shirt, the one that looks kind of good on me but has that hole on it near the butt from when it got snagged on the chain link fence behind our poodles. But it isn't even a big deal because I tucked that part in. Somewhere in the city, there's an old lady picking styrofoam leftovers up out of a trash can and she's putting a piece of sesame chicken someone spit out into her own mouth. And somewhere there's a doctor with a black haircut and a black lab coat trying to find a cure for the diseases that are gonna make us all extinct for real one day. And somewhere there's a man, a man in a janitor's uniform, stumbling home drunk and dizzy after spending half his paycheck on 40 ounce bottles of twist off beer and the other half on a four hour visit to some lady's house on the street where the lights have all been shot out by people who'd rather do what they do in this city in the dark. And half a block away from janitor, man, there's a group of good for nothings who don't know no better. Waiting for janitor man with rusted bicycle chains and imitation Louisville sluggers. And if they don't find a scent on him, which they won't, they'll just pound at him till the muscles in their arms start burning, till there's no more teeth to crack out. But they don't count on me.